I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. Here is another challenge question from Amy. It is based on mechanics, question taken from Edexcel past test papers. You may join my classes, gain confidence, connect learnings, get ready for future. Gift of education for success is the bottom line. Let's enjoy the session with Emmy. Let's begin our class with new set of questions today, Emmy. So now what do you have for me? Hi, sir. Um, yeah, I have a couple. Uh, it, it's like, it's still, it's still a with mechanics but it's forces with the, uh, at an angle but it's more of a like a cylinder question um it's not like the classic one so i'll just show you and then sure, sure. Cheers, cheers, cheers. all right yes emmy can you please read the question yeah. so a cylindrical object with mass 8 kg rests on two cylindrical bars of equal radius the lines connecting the center of each of the bars to the center of the object make an angle of 40 degrees to the vertical. Mm -hmm. Part A, draw a diagram showing all the forces acting on the object and describe each of the forces using words. And then part B, calculate the magnitude of the force on each of the bars due to the cylindrical object. Got it. So it's kind of important to understand that this 40 degrees, the lines connecting the center of each of the bars to the center of the object makes an angle of 40 degrees to the vertical, right? So, yeah. so what you're seeing here is a vertical plane. You get the idea. Mm -hmm. So the picture represents the vertical plane. Okay. So now what we have is this, these are the two points at which it, the body is resting. Right. Mass is acting right in the center. So mass of 8 kg. So 8 kg means what? 8 kg means a force of 8 g, right? Acting downwards. Yeah. So it is 8, 8 times 9.8. <clears throat> Which is um, 78.4. Newtons. So that much force is acting downwards. Now, if you look at the reactions, which, uh, well, part A is, what is part A, Amy? Um, draw a diagram showing all the forces acting on the object. Describe each of the forces using words. Okay, so basically you see at this point, because it is connected at the center, the reaction is, let's say R. Let's call this as R. From both the sides, it's going to be same. Since the angle is 40 degrees, they're equally distributed. Right. Now, R can be resolved into its components, which are, let us say, one and the other inside. Is that okay? Similarly, from the other object, we have these two. So these which are inside <laughs> cancel, but the one on the center towards this, which balances the weight mm -hmm. is basically equal to twice this component, right? And how much is that? Let's see it in a clear picture here. So if this is R and the angle here is 40 degrees, then that force is R cos 40 degrees, correct? Yeah. Also from the other side, we have the same thing that is also R cos 40 degrees. Yeah. So the upward force is 2R cos 40 degrees, correct? So that 2R cos 40 degrees balances the downward force, 78.4 Newtons, correct, 8G. Yes. So from here, you can find the value of R as 78.4 divided by two cos of 40 degrees. Is it okay? Yeah. So you get those many Newtons as your reaction. So you can calculate and, and write down the answer. How much do you get? Um, 51.17. Oh, 51.17. 
So that is the reaction which you will get for this. So that is part B. Calculate the magnitude of force on each of the bars due to the cylinder. So R is the magnitude of force, which is we need to find. So we find the value of R as 51.17 newton. Right. Is that clear to you? Yeah, very clear. Okay, great. So uh, we'll end the class here. Amy, can you please summarize today's learnings? Yeah, so this was kind of a like different kind of scenario with the cylinder, um, but it's more looking at, so the forces, the normal reactions will be working like inward um, from the radius, like the centers of the two cylinders that it was lying okay. under. Like and a then vertical it's working... plane, like this. It's a vertical plane. Yeah, yeah, like that. Like that. Yeah, yeah. So, so upward uh, force, balancing of the downward weight. force of the weight. Right, right. So that upward force. Cancels. This is the upward force which cancels the weight. So you have to yeah. look in that fashion, then you understand it, the question. Better. Yeah, it was about resolving the force that was working like this into its yeah. vertical and horizontal component, but that was the slightly tricky part. But once you find that it's R cos alpha and knowing that because it's um they're same, they're equal like in terms of diameter, you times it by two because it's the same on the other side, and then you make them equal each other and then solve for R. But very yeah. good question, Amy. I've not seen that type of question earlier. So that's very good. Yeah, neither. <laughs> I've been doing so many where they're just kind of standard, where they're on a plane and perpendicular, not with circles. So I thought, yeah, it'll be a good question to bring up. Good. Great. Cool. So we can end. Thank you so much sir, for your help. Okay, then. Yeah. Continue sharing and learning. Will Thank do. You. Thank you, sir. Thank I enjoy you. the rest of your day. Bye. Thank you. Bye. <clears throat>